What is up, guys? We are back with another Rust What's Coming. And uh, sadly, we have a pretty dead update this week. Uh, once again, for going on five, six weeks, they've added zero content to the game. But they are working really hard behind the scenes. Now, I I'm kind of sitting at the point where it's kind of getting a little too stale, so I really wish they had pushed some new stuff. The flame turret was worked on, as well as the vending machine, and the MP5 seemed pretty close to being done, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But none of that stuff is being put in. Now, my theory is that they're not putting that in because they're waiting to finish the component system. Unfortunately, the component system is probably about a month away, if not more. And that means we may not see any content for yet another month, which that's kind of pushing it too much. Uh, hopefully, they give us some stuff in between and they just have changes in the back. But as you see here, we've got some pictures of the cave systems. It's uh, definitely uh, pretty cool looking a little bit more in depth and this is basically how they're laying out the caves so there's going to be uh three small caves uh from easy to difficult small caves will have a single entrance and exit one way in one way out just like the current caves well i guess the current caves actually had a side top kind of little entrance so actually worse than that the complexity of them is uh memorable so they'll be easy to navigate you can remember it pretty well uh, the puzzles, uh, by puzzles it's kind of like a parkour challenges kind of thing, will be uh, fairly easy. Uh, and then they toss in a joke there saying, unless you're really bad. Uh, and they'll have one to two buildable flat areas. Then there's going to be three medium caves from easy to difficult. Medium caves will have on average two points of entry, sometimes three. Uh, they'll be harder to memorize. There'll be a more difficult layout, including deadly traps. Puzzles are not more difficult, and they'll have two to four build rooms in each. Uh, three large caves will be existing from average to difficult. Uh, they will have as many as five points of entry or exit. Some of them will be natural caves, some will be old mining tunnels. Network complexity is a step above all other caves, meaning it's going to be much harder. A lot of players might live in the caves and never see each other at all. I'm finding that hard to believe, but hey, these caves could be massive, so we'll just have to see what they're doing. Puzzles will be deadlier and longer, and up to eight build rooms. So that's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, they'll also be talking about adding things like basic resources and wood um, and ore in there. So I'm excited for the caves. Hopefully we get to see them in November. Uh, we were all hoping for this month, but it's just uh, not quite there. It is a big taking. So. That's going to be a bit. Now, the next thing here is we've got the Recycler. Something people have been begging for forever. Let us break down our clothing we don't want into cloth. Let us, uh, you know, something we use or junk from rad towns. And this is going to make bringing everything back to your base much more rewarding. But in fact, you don't need to actually bring it to the base. These things are going to be located inside a rad town. So they're loud. And there's going to be a bit of a risk uh, in using them. So, one of those things you're going to have to kind of balance off. You're going to have to protect someone while they're using it, maybe. So, uh, anyways, there's a short video clip they gave us here that kind of just shows the demonstration of it. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and kind of let this speak for itself here. And like I said, it is loud. But there you have it. We'll be able to make usefulness out of everything. So definitely very stoked about this. Next, we'll move on here. We've got a couple more props just to kind of make the world feel like it used to be alive. Um, they're calling these industrial props. You can see kind of like a generator, another tank, and then uh, some looks like electrical coils, honestly. Um, not 100% on those. I'm sure there's some industrial fan that would know exactly what those are. But uh, yeah, just a little something to keep the world from being so stale. 
basically, and uh, that's what we've got going on there. So I'll go ahead and move on to the MP5 here. We've got the animations, and uh, it it looks great. I just I love the way it is. I can't wait to see this game. And uh, we'll kind of let it loop one more time there. Definitely very excited for that gun. And uh, last here, but not least, uh, you can see the component system has had to start. All I've really got for you is a screenshot here because none of this is implemented yet. Uh, crafting recipes still use all the old stuff. But as you can see, we've got rope, we've got uh, electronic parts, gears, duct tape, bleach, and a tarp. Uh, so these are going to be uh, some of the components alongside batteries, which are already in there, and the CCTV camera and laptop. So that's what we've got so far. I'm sure they'll be probably adding some more things, uh, but that's just kind of the preview there. They're in, but they're not implemented, and uh, we'll have to see, I guess this next week or so, they said they'll be doing the crafting recipes and so forth, and converting all that over. They said they wanted to get the recycler out first so that that could all be uh, implemented together. But uh, that's uh, pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you're excited. Sound off how you feel about some of these new changes below. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to leave a like and sub if you're new so you can see the next video.